tell me about the time. You said vertical okay. horizontal. What do you mean by that? All right, all right, all right, all right. I don't know if you guys know, but most countries think of time horizontally. Do you know this or no? No, what do you mean by that? So time is horizontal. So time as a concept is horizontal. So the past is behind us and the future is ahead of us. In Chinese, oh, okay. it's vertical. I never thought about this until I moved to China and I was learning Mandarin. And for me to say next week, I would say down week. Xia ge xing xi, down week. And for me to say last week, I would say sheng ge xing xi, and sheng ge means up. So I'm saying up week. And I'm like, I'm looking at my teacher. I'm like, yo, I keep confusing the two. Why is next week down week and the past, like last week, is up week? It makes Wait, no sense to me. Doesn't it, doesn't it make more sense if the next is up, and then? Yes, that's for us, but that's it because you realize we just taught this as Westerners. I'm thinking because you you look up to something, right? Like I thought up is more in the future, but she said no. She said she explained, and that's according to my teacher, that when you die in Chinese culture, does it believe that you go up? So if all our ancestors, you know, our grandparents that died, are up, so this is a reference point, then they are part of the past, the past. and the future goes down. So when I say Uh, next week, it's gonna be down week because the future is going down, right? And in English, I start thinking Jeremiah about time is in English. blown away. <laughs> I am. I'm actually learning something right now because as a native Mandarin speaker, I'm like, yeah, 下个礼拜，上个礼拜 and I'm like, I never, ever, 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 yeah, thought yeah. about it that way. Damn, son, I'm learning like my my own heritage from a from a fucking. I mean, <laughs> from, from, from like. <laughs> I'm a foreigner, but that's the same for us. We don't think about it in English, but in English, what do you say? Like, if um, if I say, "Hey, Jeremiah, Pavel, let's meet next week for like some beers," you might say, "Hey, I look forward to it." Forward? Where the fuck is forward? It's in front of you, right? So time is like this. If 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 Jeremiah broke up with his girlfriend, I'm like, "Come on, Jeremiah, it's okay. Leave the past behind you." And it's like, "What the fuck? The past is behind me." So. And, and time in, in English is horizontal, wow. and it's like that for most languages. So for Chinese people to learn another language, like a Latin language, their whole world is changing and shifting. You know, the hand gestures, how they count, the time, everything, the culture—they're very straightforward. When I walk into a restaurant, they they say "nichishima," like "what do you want to eat?" It's like "whoa, there's no hi, welcome, have a seat." <laughs> You know, it's, it's it's a Western culture, well, and it makes you realize that we've constructed everything. That we made. Man. What do you want to eat? Sit down, eat, leave. We need a table. Come on. <laughs> well, when you think about the population of China and how many people there are, they don't have time for chit chat. Yeah. It's like, what do you want to do? What's up? Do it. Bye. <laughs> That is so true. Wow. I yeah. can I can't imagine how are the hookups in the bar. Then you go like, hey, you want to go into my room? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Let's go, man. Oh, man. Wow. 